All right, YouTubers, uh, quick little video. Uh, as most of my other videos have been up, you either know I'm a tech junkie, and I like to get into customizing stuff, or it's festival, EDM, etc., yada, yada. So for about the last year, I've been using a wonderful CloudWhite Nexus 6. And in the last couple of months, I've started having really odd problems pertaining to battery. A little bit of looking upon Google, and I come to find out that these phones, no matter how perfect you want to treat them, they have battery issues. I always did wireless charging for the longest time, and I started going to regular charging after I had the battery issues because of the weirdness that was going on. If your phone is having any kind of issues with battery, and I'll do this so that way you can see and maybe you can diagnose if you need to send it out for warranty, because this is going out for warranty tomorrow. As you can see, battery okay. Without a doubt, it tells me my battery is okay, right? We're in the bootloader screen, as you can see, which makes it even more interesting. So, two different things can happen here. If I go turn my phone on, it'll actually try to turn on. Sometimes it won't turn on. Sometimes I get stuck in this weird little game, this weird little loop, this weird I don't know what. Now, the weird thing is when it does this, it either wants to work or it doesn't want to work. Half the time it'll boot, half the time it won't. Sometimes it gets stuck until you plug the charger partially in. But the phone will register that you actually still have juice left. Um, most people in most cases are having these weird issues like me. Um, phone will be anywhere from 12, 18%, all the way as high as 36, 38. And the phone will just shut down and won't even start, which is really crazy. Now, I'm even on a modified ROM, which is uh, a lot easier to reset and readjust everything. But as you see, fully boots up, now it's showing zero on the battery. Which, like I said, I was surprised it made it that far. So now if I try to turn the phone back on, battery icon, right? But you can still get in via the bootloader. And still shows battery is okay, which is kind of interesting. Now again, if you're having these weird issues, this is a quick, easy way that I found to kind of check for it. The phone itself will still believe the battery is okay. So you plug it in, it goes to low charging. Voila, now it shows battery low. So if you have a phone that is one of the Nexus 6s and it boots up, or I should say it shuts down on you at random times or reboots or turns off and you go turn it on and you get the battery light, if you press the power and volume down and get into the bootloader, if it shows your battery is okay, you plug in and unplug the power cord a couple times and have it go to actually showing that it is battery low, it'll actually then show correct in Android for about one or two boot cycles. The other thing you can do at this point too um, you have the option for bootloader logs. That's actually the kind of quick reset. Again, this is a real hindrance and kind of an annoying issue for a phone that is a wonderful six to seven hundred dollar retail. So, I've gotten so aggravated with this phone at this point. I hate to say as much as I love Moto and as good a phone as this has been, I'm probably going to be going to another brand, unfortunately, because otherwise the phone's solid, works great. But with this freaking battery stuff, less than a year and the phone's got issues and. About half the Nexus users out there had the same issue with the battery stuff. So, fortunately, this is just one of those dumb things. It's plagues Motorola phones, and it's a non-serviceable phone, so I have to send it in. So, again, quick, simple thing just showing you. If you have one of these phones, good old Nexus, and your battery's getting flaky, it shuts off at random times, it's not showing correct, or it doesn't even make it to battery saver. It doesn't even make it to 15%. It turns off. Or, you know, makes it a little lower and shuts off before it even hits that 3, 2, or 1%. Phone's probably screwed. You probably got to sign in for a battery replacement. So there's plenty of stuff you can look on Google. Uh, plenty of searching. You can actually find out all the information you want. It is out there. Um, again, it's unfortunate, but it's just nature of the business with these phones. So hopefully the video helped you. If you want to comment about it, that's fine. Like it, dislike it, I really don't care. Just a quick little info video for those of you who have this phone and have these wonderful problems like me. So take care. Until next time.